Good day, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Vice Squad, brought to you by the Anadromas Fly Company. This week, uh, I switch gears a little bit, tie a little dry fly. This is the Light Cahill. So, pretty simple little fly and deadly effective. We are going to use, this is a hen's hook, BL400, size 12, which means it's black, barbless dry. We're going to use some 18 knot Semper Fly Spider Waxed white thread, which I'm going to start about an eye with behind the eye. And snip the tag out and we'll run that down to the bend. More or less there. The tail is going to be, it calls for a light ginger hackle fiber. Now I didn't have, on my light ginger hackle, I didn't have any feathers big enough to make a tail out of. Uh, so I grabbed a sort of a creamy colored saddle hackle. It does the same job. So we're going to pull a few fibers off the side, pluck them straight off and keep the tips all nice and straight. And be careful when you transfer your hands that you don't get them all skewed like I just did. So we want to make that tail about the size of our body. Not too, too long. We'll just put a few wraps in and check it. Might be a touch long. See so if we can gently pull them forward. It's going to be close enough. So we'll put some nice binding wraps in. I don't want to go all the way up. We'll go about two thirds way up because that'll be the size of our body. And we don't want to bulk up the spot where we'll tie our wing in. I'm going to throw a wrap underneath just to help them flare a little bit. Then we'll run our thread back up to where we ended that. And we'll go for our next material, which is a wood duck dyed mallard flank. Uh, so what I've done, I've gone ahead and cleaned the chaff and whatnot off the back end of that feather. And what I do is I'll grab the tip and I want to find the point where all these fibers are more or less even. Because as we go up, they, they get shorter. We don't want those shorter ones in there. So I've done that on both sides because we're gonna use both sides for the wing on this fly. So I'm gonna peel off one side and peel off the other side. And then I'll put them together and just get all the tips to line up. like so. You could tie them in individually if you wanted to. I don't see the point in doing it that way. don't really need to. So I'll just clump them all together make sure they're more or less the same. If they're not all the way, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to make that wing the same length as the body of our fly. If you get it too long, it will cause your fly to spin and twirl when it goes through the air and it'll twist your leader all the heck. So it should be just a little taller than your hackle really. So we'll tie that in. We don't want to tie it all the way down because we'll just end up bulking the body up and we don't want that. So we'll snip that out. Just clean those butts up and we'll come back to the front and then I'm going to lift that wing a couple wraps in the front to get it to stand up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bodkin and I'm going to split those more or less in the middle. And I'm going to do some figure eight wraps through the middle. Be 
because we're filming they don't want to cooperate which is pretty standard and we can get two or three of them in there that should be enough to keep them separated Tweak them a little bit, you can get them to kind of flare up and sort of hang off the side of your hook, like so. So next what we'll do is we'll wind our thread back down to the butt end here. Before I start that, I guess it's worth noting, uh, you, you could go and post, like make up basically essentially a parachute post on each one of these as well, but I've always found it incredibly difficult and it to me didn't seem to look an awful lot different in the end so it just would seem more like it was more of a hassle than it was worth if you want to do that and get frustrated by all means i'm sure it's a good skill to have it's just one that frustrates the heck out of me so back to our body we're going to use some uh, this is light cahill dubbing from hairline so we'll just dub a nice small noodle on there Taper body forward. Grab one more little pinch here. Finish that and we'll leave just a little gap behind the wing so we have a nice spot to tie our hackle in which I've gone ahead and pre-sized and I've always I cut the butt end of it off just so it gives you some little barbels to for your thread to hold on to so it doesn't pull out on you so I'm gonna put two or three turns behind the wing and I'm gonna pull that wing back gently Put a turn or two in front of it and then I'm going to try and reach in with my scissors and just clip out what's left there. There we go. And we'll just run our thread up right to the eye. And we can start running our hackle. or three turns behind and then again pull that wing back if you get that hackle right down in front of that wing it should help it stand up nice so that's three or four turns and we'll just grab it with our thread few turns to hold it and we'll reach in there nice and tight and snip the rest of that out. And we'll just peel everything back, just clean it up a little bit. And then we'll grab our whip finish tool. Very simple little dry fly. Just kind of fluff your tail back up, make sure it's lying nice. Spread your wings out. There we go. Very easy pattern and works fantastic. 
If you like the video, folks, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell beside it. You won't miss any of our upcoming content. Uh, and please go check out uh, our sponsor's gear. You can find it at fishingoutdoors.ca and .net, depending on where you are. Uh, you can buy all their gear through us. Uh, doesn't cost you any more. Just uh, helps keep the lights on for us. Everybody wins. Uh, until uh, Until next week, everyone. Thanks a bunch.